which is F4. So <coughs> we already know the force F2. We know this force from here. We know this force from here. What we do need this position vector as well as this position vector. And to find those position vectors, you'll need the coordinates for, let's say, point A. You need the coordinates of point B. Then you need the coordinates for point C. And you need the coordinates for point D. So <coughs> A is the easy one. It's on the y-axis. So the x-coordinate has to go to 0. Then you have <coughs> 2 inches for the y and c will go to 0. Same thing with the c. So if x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate should be 4 and the z coordinate should be 0. Then if I need the coordinates, let's say for d. See d is here <coughs> and there is one more length for D. See this length is given as 4. So <coughs> the length here, I mean if you look at this triangle, this angle being 90 degrees, then if this is 4, <coughs> this angle is 30, that length should be 4 cosine 30. <coughs> then the length downward, this one here, again is this is 7 and this is 30, so we're looking at the length as 4 sine 30. So <coughs> the coordinates, that means if I look at the D, so <coughs> what do you think are the coordinates for D? Okay, that, that's the x-coordinate, right? Yeah. And the uh, y is 4. Yeah, y is before. And then d is 4 sine 30 negative. Okay, so that's the <coughs> coordinate for b. We need one more, that's b. So what do you think b is going to be? Same thing with the y, which is 7. Um. <coughs> x should be the same, right? 4 cosine 30. Then y, you have 4, you add another 3, that's 7. And this should be the same downwards, so negative 4 sine 30. So that gives you the <coughs> coordinate of 4 points. So if I need R, A, B, <coughs> we're going to take this, which is the tip, going to subtract this, so you get 4 the sine 30 minus 0 and i. <coughs> then we have 7 minus 2, that's j. Then we have negative 4 <coughs> sine 30 minus 0 of k. And <coughs> that should come out to be 4 cosine 30 and I plus 5 of J minus 4 sine 30 of K. So that's R <coughs> AB. Then we need R C D. So now this is going to be this minus this. So you have 4 cosine 30 minus 0 and i. Then you have 4 minus 4, that should be j. Then we have negative 4 sine 30 minus 0 and a k. So that becomes 4 cosine 30 i 
plus 0 of j minus 4 sin 30 of k. So, that is your second factor. So, if I need the first couple which is m c 1, from the equation we have, you have r a b position vector times the force vector which happened to be f 2 and that is going to be a determinant where the first row is i, j and k. The second row is going to come from the coefficients of r a b and coefficients of r a b are 4 cosine 30, then you have 5, then you have negative 4 sine 30. Then we have the coefficients of force f 2. So, you have 0 for i, 0 for j, 64 k. So, that is the first couple. Then you have m c 2. Now, m c 2 from the equations are r c d times f 4. So, that is another determinant you are looking at the first row again back to i, j and k. <coughs> then the coefficients from here that is 4 cosine 30, then you have a 0, then you have negative 4 sine 30. Then we go to the force of 4, you have 0, then there is an 80 and there is a 0. So, those are the two determinants and if you want to find the values, I could use this. So when you open a determinant, you could pick any point or any particular row or a column. So, I am going to pick the last row. So, if you pick the last row, you have negative 1, third column and third row. You multiply this by 60 and <coughs> take this row and this column out, you have 5i negative 4 cosine 30 j. <coughs> that is the first determinant. Second one, again I could pick this location. So, you take this row and this column out. So, you have negative 1 is the third row, the second column. You raise those powers and then you do a product between this 